hey, good morning, we're out here in front of the Explorer. We're trying to remove that roof rack right there. So we're gonna get the flat top look, kind of a Mad Max type look, or a meaner look, or even a police car look, if you kind of look at it that way. So uh, let's get her set up, and let's see if we can get that roof rack right there. Let's get that off. All right, guys. So we got some of these plastic tools from the tool kit. We think they're gonna work. There's a little slot you can see right here. There's another slot right here. Somewhere there's a slot right here. Push in. Okay. Well, that's, that's good there. back a little in the front same thing in the back so there you go a start to getting it off all right guys hey next phase we've got the chrome off not too bad if you know where to pry you can kind of see these are the things holding it so you know where to pry so next thing 10 millimeter deep gonna unbolt her Hang on to that nut we just took off. There's a stud. You gotta have the right socket for the end of the stud, so we're gonna see what we can do to get it out. Hey guys, I know you can't see much here, but look at this stud right here. We're gonna lock some nuts on it, but first we're gonna try vice grips. like it's gonna work. Look at that. We got that off, huh? See that? Didn't have to use our nut idea. But that's good. Alright, see it's real dirty up here. So we have to do some uh, cleaning here uh, to get the dirt off. We can do some dusting first, but the reality is a little bit of Windex here will go a long way to cleaning this all up. Hey guys, we're back. So. Here's where we're at. You can see we've got the roof rack off. We didn't do any polishing, but we've got this, this Permatex. It's gonna seal because we do have holes in the roof now. We got set screws and we're gonna show you how that's done, all right? We got, we're gonna put this on the set screw, put the set screw in and then leave it set because if I run it all the way in, it won't go tight. It'll just drop into the headliner. So stay tuned, watch how it's done. So here's our hole right here. You can see it goes all the way in. All right, look at the wrench all the way in. It hits the headliner. So we're going to use the wrench. Went to the hardware store, got some set screws. Put the set screw on the wrench. All right, put a little bit of uh, RTV on the hole. You can see how we RTV'd the hole. 
Now we're going to put the set screw in the hole. Go in part way like this. See how we're in part way? Now we're going to put some more, uh, cut the hole a little bigger. Uh, we're going to come down here and we're just going to put a nice bead around the set screw like that. You can see what that looks like. Now we're going to take the set screw and you got to turn it in until it's below flush. So right about there. Uh, you can see that, you know, if you put the wrench like this, it's below flush. Just kind of lay that around there like that. We're golden. We're going to go to the next one and the next one and the next one. So uh, we'll be back when we got them all done. All right, guys. Hey, here's the thing. We bought some weather stripping, but we've got these that go over the windshield. We're going to have to, we got to get rid of this stuff. So we're going to cut them off. We're going to try to cut them off square right here. So what we're going to do is we take it right here. Try to cut it off square right here. Piece of cake. Tin snips and done. We'll show you how we're going to bind these on in a little bit. We'll bond them on. We'll slide them in their normal latching position and then we're going to bond them. Okay guys, we're back. Hey. Again, isopropyl alcohol to clean things. Always make sure you're clean. So we're going to clean this piece, both sides. We're going to get it back on there. Blue tape and get this ready to go. Make sure we got this good with the alcohol in here. So what we're going to do, put a little bit down here, a little ball, help hold it. Another one up here, you can see where that catches right in here. Kind of goes right here, catches catches right here, catches, and then if you look at this, it's going to come all the way up to here, so we're going to put a big spot, if we take off the end here, go like this, put ourselves a pretty good glob. Now, put this behind the weather stripping like it was factory. Pop that on, pop that on, you can kind of, that wasn't behind the weather strip. Pop it back off. Got to get it behind that weather stripping like it's supposed to be. There it is, right there. It's up in there, just like it's supposed to be. All right. You can kind of see that the, uh, the edge follows the uh, roof line when you're in the right spot. We need to tape it down. We've got a little glue here. And then off. Don't worry, that stuff wipes off the paint later easy. Anyhow, uh, that's holding down halfway decent. We're going to put a socket on there. I'll show you how that's done. So when you need to clamp something down, use a socket like this. All right? And like this. So here's what we're going to do. Put that right there. That across there. See how that gives you a better, uh, better way, or you can lay them this way if you want. Whichever way you, uh, you like better will work.
I'm up here. Perfect. All right, so while that one's doing, we're going to go do the other side. All right, guys, hey, we bought some weather stripping to put in that groove. About 14 feet, we need almost seven. So here's what we're doing. Cut it exactly in half, then we'll trim it when we fit it. So we're going to put it right here and the end. Start bringing it around like this. Just keep going. And there's the center. So the center's right here. Again, tin snips will get this. We'll cut right through it. There you go, piece of cake. We'll keep this out. We'll use it to trim on the car. All right, guys, back on the project. Hey, uh, so here's what we've got. You can see how we've got that tape down there. Uh, one thing while we're going to show you, we're going to show you that there's little metal tabs sticking up. We're going to have to cut a little slot in our weather stripping to put it in. So let me show you that. And then we'll go make those cuts. And then we'll start sticking that stuff on. We did clean it with alcohol. Make sure you use your alcohol. If you don't use your alcohol, it'll go bad. I promise you. There, see the little tab right here? This little piece sticking up? You need a cut for that on both sides. There's one on the other side too. Either that or there's going to be a gap. So we're going to make a little cut in our weather stripping. And then we're going to stick it in here because we cleaned this whole track. All right? All right, here we are. So I'm going to start by uh, peeling this back a little here to get it started. We did make our little cut. So peel this back a little bit. Get right in there. Like that. Got to go in our tin snips to cut right here. Want to give a little room so when the hatch opens, it don't rub. All right, so you can see right here where that little seam is. Got a little bit of our caulk. What we're going to do is we're going to come in here, we're going to put a bead. Just like that. Kind of work it into the seam. A little bit more here. And that's how we're going to do it. All right, guys, here's a flat top look. Uh, we'll be leaving those sockets taped there overnight. But you can see what this looks like. Looks pretty good coming back. Uh, looks really nice when you look forward. You can see how that's in there. Just beautiful. All right, guys, here we are on the driveway with the completed flat top look. You can do this in your driveway. Hey, give it, give it thumbs up, give it thumbs down, depending on what you like. But I'm telling you right now, you can do this. You got it. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We'll look forward to seeing you on the next Explorer project. We got some wrap we're going to do still. We're looking at doing some, uh, using some knife tape and cutting some, uh, cutting some wrap. We're going to see what that looks like, so stay tuned. See you in the next video. Peace out.